Hi everyone, it's Kelly here and I'm here with the Wild Bunch Design Team Project for the month of November and our challenge was to alter a Sizzix scoreboard XL die. It's actually a checkbook cover but then we had turned it into a calendar. We received um, the pieces from our design team lead, Natasha. Hi Natasha, thank you so much for sending this to us. And so the pieces actually look like this. They are two chipboard um, die cuts of the front and the cover of the checkbook or calendar and then um, there's a spine and then there's also a closure. There's two different types of closures. There's a wider one and then there's a narrow one here that I had decided to use. And so Natasha, our design team lead, her YouTube screen name is Anastasia and she has the die cuts for sale on her blog. I'll leave a link to her blog as well. Um, she has a calendar kit that she is selling. So um, go ahead and go check it out if you guys are interested and you can definitely get the die cut and also um, she has the PDF file for the printout of the calendars. So um, what we had to do was alter it and use as much um, Wild or Crafts products as we could and that's what I did. I had decided to use the large um, pearl brads and they are these. I'll leave the item number on um, the screen so I pretty much use a lot of it already. Um, for my projects. I love using it. It's so gorgeous. It's very pastel color. Um, I used the green one and then the the pink one. And then I had, for in between here, I had used the 5mm self-adhesive flat back pearl in white. So with the brads, they help attach the um, the cover of the die cut and then the spine together. So I attached that using the brad. And then also the back, I had decided to attach it with an eyelet and then also um, you know some smaller brads so it won't be too bulky and so um, let me show you what flowers I had used I used the wild roses and this one here is in the aqua color it is the 30 millimeter one FM-00165 okay and then I had used this the flowers here the open roses um, this one is EX-00019. It is in the pink tone. So I use um, these two here, which is like a light pink and a cream tone one. So I use two of those and then I painted it, going over it with the Martha Stewart Pearl pink paint. And that's what I did. Um, I painted the spine as well with that and then went over the edges, you know, with that color. So that's how they turned out. And then right here is a um, the 20 millimeter. It is the open rose in the aqua color. And here is the item number. It's FM-00092. And then this one here is in the dove gray. And so this one, I don't have the item number, but I could list it on the screen there once I figure out where it is <laughs> and um, I went over it with the pearl paint as well but not the pink one it's just a regular pearl paint just to give it that sheer pearly effect and then this one here um, well actually this one I went over already this one here is FM-00281 and it is the 10 millimeter miniature open rose in gray and um, so right here are Wild and Crafts the smaller book corner. I'll leave the item number as well on the description. I had only the gold left so what I did was I alcohol inked it to turn it into silver and it worked out perfectly. And then right here is the buckle slider from Wild Orca Crafts and it is this one here. It is the circle shaped silver ribbon buckle slider. It's BB-00003 and I used a flat back pearl in the center here and Juliana has a tutorial on that. So go ahead and check it out. Um, right here is um, just the trim that I had in my stash. And so I added it and used making it into a frame when I printed out the 2012. I don't know if you can see this, but I went over it a little bit with um, a Distress ink. It's spun sugar and then also um, I did the edges with Victorian velvet, but you can't really see. So um, right here is just the brat that I had in my stash. It's an Eiffel Tower brat. It's really cute. And then I had um, removed the backing and adhered it on there. And I added some pearls too because since I had a variation of pearls going on up here, I wanted to add it into my little bunch and cluster of flower there. 
and let's see what else and then I add like the oh I went over the pearl swirls already so the paper line I had used for this is from Kaiser Craft and it is the Beaujour paper line really hard for me to cut into because it's so my favorite I love this paper line so much and so it's very easy for me um, you know to be able to part with one page of it because it's pretty much one page you know you can use um, for this and I was able to cover the front and the back but for the inside it was another um, page you can use cardstock too and um, really it's really easy <laughs> so not a, not a lot of paper usage on this but I love the Eiffel Tower and I wanted to make sure that it was displayed on here and so as you can see the side I just went over with the trim but I punched an eyelet underneath there you guys can't really see it but it was actually to hold my um, charm here and this is a charm from Wild Crafts. it's the ballet slippers and then this here is just an Eiffel charm that I had in my stash so as you can see there's the back and then it has a velcro closure right here so I added it onto the thinner um, strip so there was two different types of closures one wide one and then one narrow one and I decided to use the narrow one there and this is how it looks like in the inside I used a pattern paper as well from um, Kaiser Crafts Beaujour and then this here is a sequin butterfly it's the white one and for the binding I used um, the fabric stack from Die Cuts with a View and it's the pink fabric stack it looks like this so I love you know the color it matches perfectly well and um, when I did the binding I had um, cut like I would say about two inch strip and then um, I adhered it to the chipboard before I put the pattern paper on so when I did that, um, I used red line tape because with this fabric paper, it only adheres to like like lightweight um, you know paper or cardstock, not chipboard. Um, to make it sturdy, I added red line tape to the back first. So if you decide to use this as hinges for your mini albums, like your chipboard mini albums, you would have to um, probably line it with red line tape to make it sturdy. But in this case, it was just one piece of cardstock paper, and then um, it totally like hold it very well, and I love the way it looks see how that is there's March and so you'll get a printout of um, I just skipped a month there so it's like 12 months in the PDF um, you know PDF that uh, if you decide to purchase the calendar kit from Natasha and here's how it looks like okay and then here is the um, the fabric paper I used in the back and you can see like the eyelet as well and then the brad to attach the you know chipboard and then I used an eyelet here to attach this part of the closure so with this it's really um, very easy and you could definitely use it for like you could even make an album like a calendar album utilize utilizing like the page um, as well to it the blank pages here and I think that's what I'm going to do, you know, if I don't give it away. But um, it could be like, you know, you could just make something here, add it on to that. And that's about it, you guys. I hope you guys like it. And this is my version, my altered version of the Sizzix die, the checkbook die. And thank you for watching. Bye.